okay in the class 7 we are going to learn about tables what are tables very very important concept tabular format is used to show the tabular data on the web page in the tables there are orders there are for example there is some schools some mark sheets some results all in tabular format rows and columns okay so let's start table i change the title as tables and uh, heading is h2 and uh, it is about tabular format for web pages h close description is table tag is used to show tabular data tabular data in rows Okay. Now, what is the tag? Tag is T A B L E table. The table sign. Close it over here. Table. Now, tab T R table row. This is our first row, and closing the T R. T R. And inside the TR tab tab TD and TD. This is table data. This is table opening tag. This is table closing tag. This is table row opening tag. This is table row closing tag. This is table data. Table definition table data. TD this is closing td let's see let's see the page file save as class 7 inverted commas class 7 tables class 7 tables save it and see the output class 7 tables again now this time class 7 tables is text format uh, we because this is we are going to save it as tables dot html very very important right dot html otherwise it will save it as text file now let's see and I delete this tables file right delete it yes and now this is tables file this is html file dot html file I double click it so tabular format for web pages uh, title is tables it is used to show the data in columns and rows okay but there is no data I put one over here one. inside td and td file save now this is one this is one right now I put another data another column okay another column or another data td column number two td close column number 2 file save this is column number 2 1 2 in the same row row uh, in the row 1 we have t1 and 2 now i put td td 3 
3 dB group. Save it. Let's see the output. This is 3. Okay. <coughs> First row. Now I type another row. TR and TR. This time TD 4. TD. TD 5. TD. TD 6. TD. Close. So this is second row. This is first row. This is first row. Inside this row there are three columns and this is second row. Inside this row there are three columns. Right. Save. Refresh. 4, 5, 6. And if I write another row TR and TR <coughs> I put TD 7 and TD. I put TD 8 and TD 9. TD 9 and TD. Okay. File. Save. And this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And last row. It shows what? It will show E, R, and table row. TR is table row. TD is 0. And TD. Second TD is there is no data. Second TD is there is no data. TD. In the third column there is no data. TD. There is no data. TD. File. Save. And this is 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, row number 1, 1, 2, 3. Row number 2, 4, 5, 6. Row number 3, 7, 8, 9. And row number 4, 0. And dash dash means there was no data. So, there are 4 rows. And every row contains 3 columns. So, this is how we create the tables. Table row. This is, this is first row. First row. And inside this row, we have three columns. These are columns. These are columns. Right? This is second row. Second row. This is second row. And inside this row, we have three columns. We have again three columns. In the fourth row, we have again three columns. Okay? Now, <coughs> if I put an attribute of table, for example, border, border is equal to 1. Now let's see. It will create a border. This, this border. Because of that attribute, it shows border. Another attribute is border color. Border color is equal to blue. File save. And this is blue. If I change it to 10, for example, border width is 10, then see the output. This, this is 10 border, border 10, right? Okay. Now, we have understood this. This table, this is the basic shape of the table. There is no width, there is no height, there is no center, there is no left, there is no right. This is basic shape. And if I want to increase it to, 
I say weight is equal to 100 percent okay then width is equal to 100 percent 100 percent of the page okay 100 percent of the page this is width is equal to 100 percent right now if I write height height is equal to 100 percent file save and uh, refresh height is equal to 100 percent 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 0 and height is equal to 100 percent 100 percent of the page okay height and width this is w format now uh, we have understood that for example in the first row another row we, we are just creating another row PR and PR TD column 1 column 1 TD TD column 2 TD TD column 3 TD and I go to file save save it column 1 column 2 column 3 ok so first column is heading column for example you have a mark sheet in the mark sheet you have student name total marks marks obtained percentage grade this is first column if you have ever used excel that is tabular format rows and columns okay this is first row first row is heading column second row data third row data fourth row data fifth row data okay now if i change it to th this is heading first row is heading th this is th this is th okay th th and th so heading will make it bold the text will be bold now i think it is it has not been saved save it now refresh